YouTube was good. It's your boy, Coffee with the Foe, and I'm back at you with another video. So if you like the sneaky content I've been bringing you, what I need you to do is like, comment, subscribe to this YouTube channel on the road to 1K. So tell a friend to tell a friend to tell that friend and all those friends. Come on over, like, comment, subscribe, all that good, good, good stuff greatly appreciated i know y'all sitting there wondering like why do i have all this kanye stuff right here i got a new kanye pickup and my first pair of yeezy slides y'all see that y'all see that box the yeezy slide box i don't know why this slide box is so freaking big like it's a pair of slides like bruh let me let me set this back up. Yeah, but Yeezy slide size eight, my size, cause they say go a uh, full size up. This is the resin, 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 resin. Original made by Adidas. Ain't much to say. Pay, pay basically retail plus shipping for these. I paid ninety. And I was going to go after the bone pair, the restock of the bone. And then I was on All Mom and Year, and I seen the shipping was 15 and it came with like $86. I'm like, man, let me see if I can find this shoe. But y'all see it right there. Let me get the other one out. Got my little Adidas logo and everything. Did all my checks when I, when I bought it from. And we're going to stick this one right there. Do that like that, 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 there. And just a basic shoe, resin, resin, resin. Nothing more you can say about this. You got the sticker on the insole. You got Yeezy made in China. China right there. I'll say insole on the inside. But that's not the reason why I got all this Kanye stuff. All these Kanye CDs. High school. This is high school. I rebought the album, the graduation album, because I don't know what happened to my original copy. Got it on vinyl. I need this and this on vinyl. But the reason why I got this here, because I'm a I was a diehard Kanye. I'm not gonna say was. I'm a diehard Kanye fan. I rock with his music. When he drop a new album, I'm always ready. Like when he dropped Jesus is King. I was ready and it was a letdown. Sunday choir, Sunday service choir is better than Jesus is King. I'm a church boy, so I was ready because I'm like, Sunday service been lit. But the main reason why I got all this is because if y'all haven't seen, which y'all, if you ain't been living under a rock on social media, Kanye, I got the picture up here, had a White Lives Matter shirt trying to promote some new shirt or whatever it may be and it's a lot of controversy behind it everybody's weighing in on it everybody's saying that two piece and re kanye's responding back to people he's pissed he's pissed he's lasting out this i don't know what this is a brand promotion or what because y'all know he left adidas left gap all this bullshit's been going on but to the shirt, white lives matter. I got to say this, and I stand on this. I stand on this statement I'm about to say. White lives don't mean shit. Blue lives don't mean shit to me. Because our lives don't mean shit to them. And when I say that, I mean black lives don't mean shit to them. Because if a black life meant something to them, Brittany Griner will already be home right now with a wife. If black lives meant something to blue lives or white lives, George Floyd went ahead a knee on his neck for nine minutes. If black lives mattered, Breonna Taylor wouldn't, have been dead, wouldn't be dead right now. 
We wouldn't have all these black people getting killed by the hands of cops. We wouldn't have these Karens that niggas can walk up to a black person and call a cops on us. If a black lives matter, we wouldn't have a Karen. I stand on that shit. So with Kanye's shirt, white lives matter, fuck that shit. Fuck that shit. That don't mean shit. If y'all see my shirt, it says black women matter. Yes, they do. Because black women get so disrespected, so downgraded for the way they look, the way they walk, the way they talk, the way they act, their hairstyle. Any little thing they try to tear a black woman down. Any little thing they try to tear a black man down. You see, I work and I work at a job where it's not, I'm the longest lasting black person at my job. I probably have told this story a million times. I started from the bottom and made it to the top. I came in my job in 2015. I was a dishwasher back there washing dishes, washing every dish that came through. But as a dishwasher, I never stayed as a dishwasher. I learned how to, how to get my knifing skills better. I would talk to customers because they would be talking about sports or they would wear a sports hat or, or they will have some dope shoes on. Or we'll talk politics, we'll talk any and everything. And the GM at the time saw my people skills and moved me up to the front. Learned everything I need to know about being a barista, about being a cashier. That was the first, my first time being at a register taking cash, taking orders like that. I've always been a dishwasher, a bar bag, a, a bus boy. But I always made sure I learned other stuff while I was at the lower point. So when I go to the next job, I can say I also did this. Like when I worked at the hospital, I was a dishwasher. But on weekends, it was slow. So I would go over to the grill with Mr. Joe because he'll get busy sometimes. I'll, I'll come over there and help him. And it got to a point to where I got so good at it. I'm like, hey, Mr. Joe, I got this. Go take your smoke break. And I'll be back there flipping burgers. Dropping tenders in there, cooking french fries, doing everything I need to do for that grill because Mr. Joe taught me. And as a dishwasher, I didn't stay in one place. But back to my job now. I work where not a lot of black people come in. And, and, and I know for a fact that some people of these other races, these Wahites, these Asians, these Indians, these Chinese, these Japanese, these Me Mexicanos, these Mexicans, these El Salvadorians, whatever culture or race they are, they probably look at me a certain type of way. Especially when, if you're, if you're new to coming into my job, and I can be just sitting on my computer like a regular, like a regular person in a coffee shop, drinking a cup of coffee, doing my work for my computer, and I get up and just start grabbing dishes sitting them down to to remind myself that even though I'm a GM, I can always somehow wind up back at the bottom. And, and I know they sometimes look at me like, who the fuck is this nigga grabbing my dishes? Why the fuck is this nigga cracking jokes? Who the fuck is this nigga? Because at the end of the day, the cops going to believe them over me no matter if I tell them I'm the GM. Of the establishment. So with Kanye's shirt. White Lives Matter. Get the fuck out of here with that bullshit. Get the fuck out of here with that bullshit Kanye. Kanye I get. That your baby mom's is white. All that. Whatever she's going through. I get that. But at the end of the day. It's some bullshit Kanye. And. I tell this theory on Kanye. To a lot of. A lot of people, when we start talking about Kanye, Kanye's just a hurt little boy. Like, he's a grown man. We know that. But inside, that little boy misses his mom. Because if you think about it, when his mom died, he didn't properly grieve his mom. He just went straight to work. And, and he had that big breakdown. I feel like if his mom was still alive, he would have never married Kim K. Because when his mom was alive, he was pro-black everything. 
pro-black this, pro-black that, rapping about black issues, saying George Bush doesn't like black people. All this, but the moment his mom died, it's like he lost his mind. He said in this song, in a song with Jeezy, put on, I lost the only girl in the world who knew me best, his mom. The only girl in the world who knew him best. He lost it, and he ain't been the same since he lost it. He's still a boy grieving. That's just my, my point of view. And, 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 and before we get out of here, I want to talk about cancel culture for a second. For a second, if I can. Let me just sit that right there. Cancel culture for a second, if I can, because cancel culture ain't real to me. And I say that because if you're truly going to cancel somebody, you cancel their work, whatever artist they collaborate with, collaborated with, whatever artist they produce, because Kanye is one hell of a producer. Top five. Top five producers of all time. So that means you got to, if you're going to cancel Kanye, don't just cancel the Yeezy shoes. No, don't just cancel his albums. Cancel the albums he produced. You got to cancel some of Pusha T music. You got to cancel some of Big Sean music. It's stale. You got to cancel some of Brandy's music. You got to cancel Ho's earlier stuff, like the Black Album. You got to cancel Blueprint 1, Blueprint 2. Some of those songs you got to cancel. You got to cancel a couple of game songs. It's a lot of stuff Kanye has done that you got to cancel. So if you're really about canceling somebody, look at everything they've done and cancel them. See, for me, I'm a music head. I love music. And when I think about, I can't listen to this song no more because of what that person did, I'm like, man, that song, I'll be, I be just like this, bopping to it. College, drop, college Dropout, Late Registration, Graduation, classic album. Classic. Canceling Kanye means I can't listen to these. I can't listen to Spaceships. I can't listen to uh, Bring Me Down Roses. Bitches, you smoking reefer? When 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 he was telling a story about, uh, I want to say his grandma was in the hospital. I, I want to say she was on a deathbed and then the lady said, can you sign some t-shirts? Bitches, she smoking reefer? Can't you see that we grieving? Fucking uh, graduation, big brother. My big brother, who used to be Big's brother, was no ID brother. Fucking up, uh, drunk and hot girls. This is another hit, Barry Bonds. Flashing, lights, lights. I'm gonna and I'm gonna stop killing these niggas soon as the chorus hit. And I'm gonna start stop killing these rappers soon as the chorus hit. Man. Common passed up on this beat, so I made it. Hold up, he said, Common passed up on this beat, so I made it a, another hit. Something like that he said on everything to me. Man, cancel culture ain't real. Because y'all ain't really canceling nobody. That means you got to stop fucking with everything they did. And I can't do that. But we about to get to this own feet of this Yeezy slide. Y'all let me know. All serious opinion is ye is Kanye cancel for you. When I say cancel, not just the shoe. Did you stop listening to any and everything that has Kanye's name attached to it? Think about good music. That good music album was fire. Two chains. Uh, what's the song? She got a big booty, so I call her big booty. Happy birthday. Yeah, she got a big booty, so I call her big booty. Happy birthday, Ratchet. Man, anything Kanye's featured on, you got to get. Man, y'all tell me, is Kanye really canceled or not? How y'all feel about the subject? Do y'all stand with me? Do y'all feel also feel like Kanye's a grieving boy or what? Y'all let me know. But like always, y'all be safe. Y'all be blessed. Respect black women. I stand on that shit. Black lives matter. 
I stand on that shit. Bring Britney Griner home. Until then, we about to get to this dope on feet of these resin Yeezy. Please wait.